Okay, YouTube. In today's video, I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick run through of my setup. You know, the essentials you're gonna need, especially if you're gonna sleep in your box truck. So, it's some essential things you're probably gonna need if you're gonna sleep overnight in your box truck. And one of the main things I just put away, which is my window shades. See, I got these deals to keep the sun out. That's a pretty good one to look into. That's great for keeping the sun out. And then this one is kinda, it's pretty good too. That style, it works. But as you can see, I got me a little garbage pail from Walmart. Inside that, I have all of my essentials. I got wipes, I got uh, Kleenex, hand sanitizer, napkins. Uh, I have little light switches that you can stick up around the truck and they'll provide you light by battery. I also have a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, just in case this radio here, I, don't, I ain't even try to use it. But I have a Bluetooth speaker. As you can see down here, I got some Clorox wipes and then I have my bag with just a couple outfits, stuff for the gym, stuff like that. Okay, then I have a lantern. This is pretty cool. See how it lights up? So when I'm in here, I could just open this up and it'll literally light up the whole truck. So that's a good thing to have also. So I also have a, a power bank, you know, just for some extra power, just in case, as well as masks, tough gloves, and all my DOT compliance stuff. Then under the seat, you see there, got a cooler. You gonna wanna have a cooler and some ice, especially in the summertime, okay? And this is my pillows and my blanket, okay? And this just my first trip out, you know, stuff that I felt like I definitely was gonna need. In my Sprinter van, I'm able to keep a bunch of extra stuff. It's kinda like a little house on wheels. And here you're very limited on space. So with that being said, man, you can't have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So up here, I also got my vest and my flashlight for when you pull on the Amazon facilities or the spots like that. But yeah, that's my main essentials, you know, that I'm keeping in the truck with me, you know, to make it overnight. And then, like I said, I'll get out for you guys. Under here, I got some extra straps and my gym shoes. And on the other side back here, I got a bunch of window shades. I think I got like four sets of one big window shades. So that's just kind of my box truck setup. And I like to keep it pretty neat. So as you can see, I don't like a lot of clutter and stuff like that. So this kind of just my setup. Cause man, you're gonna be really limited on space. I'm gonna be honest with you. I slept in here last night for my first trip and it sucked. I won't go with Charlie horses and both legs and man, it was crazy. So that being said, man, it's not the the comfortable, the most comfortable, you know, sleeping environment. I mean, it's pretty much all you got, you know, is you know, let me get this stuff. Out. I was wiping my seat down. Then that's another thing too. This truck was extremely filthy. I mean. I have been, I spent about three hours in my driveway just constantly wiping with bleach, pine saw, and an awesome bottle, bottle on top of uh, some wipes. And I'm still getting dirt off of the interior. So I don't think Enterprise cleaned this thing since they got it. And it stunk really bad. It smelled like sweat, really, really bad. So. My initial cleaning got the sweat odor out, but these seats, man, I'm still cleaning them because it's like, whew, it was dirty in here. You know, it's just kind of getting to acceptable. And I've cleaned every surface in here and still kind of need to clean it again. As you can see, it's a little wet there. I just got done wiping. I wiped all on the doors over there. And like I said, it's still, you know, kind of dirty in here. I had to clean the steering wheel over and over and over and over. I still got dirt coming off of there. So, yeah, man, these trucks are nasty. So when you get them, clean them out real, real good. Cause yeah, that's kind of one thing you definitely want to do. But 
I just wanted to give you guys a quick run through on the essentials, you know, for a box truck when you're on the road, you know, get you a small tub and put, you know, wipes and you might need toothpaste and just anything that'll be important to you. And the more you go out, the more you're gonna kind of know what you need, you know, that's kind of how it was with the Sprinter. Initially, I went out and I had the minimum. One day I woke up and like, man, I need to kind of wash up, I need wipes. One day I'm like, man, I spilled something on the floor. I need awesome and pine saw and bleach. So, you know, as you constantly go through doing the job, you'll kind of know more of what you need on the road, you know. But it's you can't just leave home with a bag and think that everything will go well. You're gonna find something you need on that trip. So you kind of want to just get those essentials set up know initially and every time you go out you keep those same things with you that way you know you kind of get the same results when you're out on the road so that's just my quick video on my essentials in my box truck i ain't gonna hold you guys up y'all take it easy have a good one and stay safe out there appreciate you